Good evening. So I am just about to get on a night train to Bangkok. I'm in Chiang Mai at the moment and yeah, getting night train, Chiang Mai to Bangkok. And I'm gonna show you what it's like. I've done this train a lot of times now, so I know what it's like, but I'm gonna show you what it's like. Um, I'm in a second class sleeper and the rest I'll explain as we go along. Let's go. So I've got half an hour until the train leaves. I'm just gonna find my seat and dump my big pack pack off and, part 12, okay. Um, and then I am gonna get a bit more of the platform and the train and hopefully we'll be able to get some shots of the inside as well if it's not already too busy. Um, yeah, just gonna dump my backpack but it's, it's so heavy right now. Okay, found my seat. There were people in the seats around me already, so I couldn't film that much of my actual seat, but I got some clips of some other empty seats. So basically, they're sort of in compartments of two seats, and the two seats face each other, and there's on the left and on the right, and two of those seats make a bed, and then the top bunk folds down. So, um, yeah, if that makes sense. So. Um, the sort of the beds are made up later in the journey so I'm on the top bunk tonight and someone comes around and makes them up which I'll show later and yeah this one's a bit more of a modern train than the one from Bangkok to Chiang Mai that I got a few days ago and yeah it's about all that's going on at the moment so um, there's a little like kiosk here where you can get like crisps and stuff I'm not gonna get anything although I might regret it but I feel quite full and I don't really want to get anything just for the sake of it and um, I do get into Bangkok at like 7 in the morning so it should be okay. So I think that's just about all that's going on at the moment so um, I might get on the train and get settled in because it's like 25 minutes before it leaves. set up in my uh, sleeper for the night and yeah now I'm just <laughs> chilling um, just kind of got everything organized so um, I keep my big bag down and it's under the seat uh, under the, the bottom sleeper at the moment on the less modern trains they need to go in the there's like shelving units that they need to go in um, but there's room under these seats on the newer train so that's good so that's down there but I do keep my smaller bags up here with me which is a little bit of a squeeze but I have short legs so it's not too bad yeah this is the sleeper um, there's like a little pocket here where to keep stuff in there's a plug um, and a light um, and sheets obviously and about it really there's a hook here to hang things on <laughs> um oh, what's this and then clean fresh sheets um this blanket but i might just use my own blanket um now the thing the issue i have with thai trains is that the lights don't turn off um i think um, on the old ones that that might be because there's always bags in the like corridor um, so here that might not be the case because bags are like under the seats and as each bunk has individual lights I'm thinking they must turn those lights off because otherwise there's no point in the individual lights so I'm really hoping that they do because it's rather bright if they don't turn the lights off this is like what it would be like sleeping so yeah we'll see okay this is such a nice train like even the toilet is really nice so I'll show you around the toilet We've got sink, soap dispenser, hand towels, plenty of toilet paper, nice big mirror, and that's about it, really. But yeah, it's, it smells clean, and yeah, seems pretty good. I will give this a 
No, nine out of ten on the scale of toilets. To have ten out of ten, I've got to have like something fancy. Anyway, I'm gonna brush my teeth now. Half eight, so bedtime soon. Okay, it's like half ten. Um, the lights don't turn off, I don't think. It's so bright out there. <laughs> so I've made this look. Put my blanket there. This blanket I carry around with me has so many uses, it's great. Anyway, I've put that there to hopefully block out the light. And I've got my eye mask, so hopefully I can sleep. So, I'll check back in in the morning, report how much sleep I managed to get. Good night. Okay, good morning. I am out of my bed. I've been folded up and I'm back in the seat. Um, we're about 10 kilometers from Hua Lam Fong, which is the uh, main station of Bangkok, which is where I'm getting off. Um, I've got an okay sleep. So these really bright lights stay on all night. And it's not so bad if you're in a bottom bunk. I was in a bottom bunk before on my train from um, Hat Yai to Nakhon Panthom. Um, and that is okay in the top bunks it's just so bright I had like my um, blanket like stuffed into the railings to try and block out some of the light but it's still so bright so that kind of bugged me a bit and I had my eye mask but I'm like really sensitive to light when I sleep so um, yeah so it was quite bright so I slept from like 10.30 to 4.30 um, woke up like want I think which isn't too bad but um yeah I'm probably gonna be tired later and I've got so much work to do today but I'll do my best um so yeah just waiting for the train to get to the station now and then I will just get a grab to my hostel where I'm staying tonight <laughs> off the train I'm gonna go to get a grab and then get to my hostel where I'm staying tonight and then I need to find some food because I've only had a smoothie bowl um, for dinner last night and that's not enough so let's go it's later in the day now um, I've had a shower <laughs> um, and yeah all freshened up after the a train journey and I'm kind of just sorting my stuff out because I leave Thailand tomorrow and I'm heading back to the UK so I'm gonna wrap this video up here I hope you've enjoyed it and um, yeah this will be the end of my Thailand series actually um, cuz I'm going back to the UK tomorrow I've got another trip planned for like six days time I'm not sure if I'm gonna uh, vlog that one yet but there will be much more to come I'm sure um so stay tuned and i'll see you next time thank you bye